Let's check out Arteza's fabric paints. Here are the Arteza fabric colors. There's 24 of them. There's four fluorescents and two metallics. I've heard a lot of good things about Arteza from other artists, and so when I saw that they made a fabric paint, I decided I was going to give it a try. Okay, so this is the tote where I keep all my acrylic supplies, and I just picked this up at Michael's. I think it's a re Recollections. I looked on the website, but I didn't see this exact one there, but I saw similar ones, which I'll link in the video. So for craft, for fabric paint, in the past, the options were stuff like this that is like crafty, but not so great as like actual paint. So when I make lab coats, I don't really use this very much except as like embellishment. Um, so what I usually do when I'm painting a lab coat is I get this, I have this golden um, fabric painting medium. So you mix it with an acrylic paint and it becomes, when the paint dries, it becomes flexible and then you can heat set it so that it works as a fabric paint. So that's what I've done in the past, which was, which was fine. Um, but I wanted to try Arteza's fabric paint because they have such a good reputation for making craft paints and I would rather not try to get the correct mixture with acrylic paints and just use an actual fabric paint that's better at painting than this stuff is. Anytime I'm going to make a swatch of any paint I have this really um, I think it's Strathmore 100 series which is the cheapest watercolor paint that Strathmore uses and I have a swatch binder with um, page protectors and so I'll swatch everything out on something that will fit in the page protectors. So I always have to cut it down to 8.5 by 11 because all paint paper comes in 9 by 12. And I just, um, I'm using watercolor because I really, I know the fabric paint is acrylic but I'm using watercolor paper because that's what I have. And now here's my materials all ready to go for a swatching session. I really like swatching. It's very relaxing and you feel really productive when you're swatching because you know you're helping yourself down the road. So future you will be very grateful for past you if you swatched the paint out so that future you can know which paints to use.
All right, so here's the 24 colors. Um, you have your basic titanium white. This looks like a sort of warm yellow, this bumblebee yellow. And then we have our sort of warmish red versus our cooler red here in the true red and wine red. Um, I want to say this does look like a normal phthalo blue, and I'm going to say this would be, uh, this Egyptian blue is going to be the ultramarine. Uh, that looks like phthalo green. Uh, I'm not sure what this forest green is, obviously lime green. But we have a good range of neutrals here with the yellow ochre, burnt sienna, and espresso brown, which I imagine would act like burnt umber. I'm a little disappointed in the silver metallic not being as intense as the gold is. And I'm not sure, I mean, maybe this fluorescent yellow could act like more like a cool yellow, but we'll see. And I am not at all sure about these two fluorescent colors. This one says fluorescent peach, and um, I don't know that any definition of peach would include that color. And this is fluorescent pink, which is a very hot pink. If you ask me, I would say there are both variations on pink, but um, yeah, we'll see how that goes. Anyway, um, these are the Arteza fabric paints, and I'm really excited to get uh, started using them on a lab coat. At this point, I decided to take a smudge of the paint and put it on the paint lid so that I could tell what was what in the box because it comes in a really nice really sturdy box but I wanted that I wanted to keep the paints in to keep them together but I wanted to be able to tell what I was getting out of the box so yeah paint all over my fingers but I can at least tell which one is which and here you see my paints in their nice orderly box and I can tell which one is which I really enjoyed using these paints to work on the lab coat. They did, as I hoped, behave more like regular acrylic paints than like craft paint. I did have a bit of a learning curve about how much water to put on my brush. Um, pro tip, not that much because it's a really good viscosity already. And so yeah, overall I just really enjoyed using them on this lab coat. Uh, this person had requested um, science, technology, engineering, art, and math on the coat. So at this point I'm painting a telescope and an apple for Isaac Newton. If you do any sort of fabric painting and you're looking for paints that behave more like normal acrylics, I would highly recommend these Arteza fabric paints. And I'm not being paid by Arteza. I paid my own money for this paint set, but I did really enjoy using them. So that's it. Thank you for watching. Click like, subscribe, ring the bell for notifications, and as always, don't be afraid to take a left. Bye!